Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the first things I suggest you doing after setting up your Honor Magic 7 Lite. So the first thing, if you haven't connected to Wi-Fi yet, then go to the settings. And in the settings, the first thing you should do is connect to Wi-Fi. So let's click on Wi-Fi, make sure that Wi-Fi is enabled, then select the network you want to connect to, enter its password, then click on connect. Now you are connected. So let's go to the next step, which is updating your, your software. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down and go to system and updates, then go to software update, and now it'll check for available updates. You can see that my software is up to date, but if yours is not, then you'll be able to download and install the updates here, and after that, it will, you will be prompted to restart your phone. It will apply the updates, and you'll be good to go. Now, let's go back, and let's go to the next thing I suggest you doing. So, let's slide down from the left top part of our screen. You can see now it is preparing for setup, so after it's prepared and it gives us notification of, about finishing up our setup, we'll do that. So as we are waiting for it, let's continue with the next thing, which is signing in with Google, which I suggest you doing, um, if you haven't done that yet, because without it you'll not be able to access Google services, like Google Play Store, so you'll not be able to install and update apps. Let's go to the users and accounts in settings. Then if you don't have any personal accounts, click on add account and click on Google. Now we're gonna sign in. First, let's enter our email. If you don't have the account, okay, so it is updating right now, I believe. So we'll just need to wait. Or maybe let's try again now, maybe it'll be available. Okay, still not. So, while it is updating, let's move on to the next step until it updates fully. So, the next step I suggest you doing is uninstalling the bloatware, because there is quite a few bloatware apps on this phone, which you, I suggest you uninstalling. So the first one is the real short, I don't know what's that, just press and hold on it and uninstall it. Of course you can keep it, but most probably you don't want it. So if you don't, you can uninstall it. If you don't want Amazon, you can uninstall it as well. TikTok can be also uninstalled, Booking.com as well, and Facebook, but these are popular services, so you most probably would install them anyway. Then let's go to top apps, and now I suggest uninstalling everything that's unimportant here, so it just depends on you, what do you find unimportant, just press and hold and click on uninstall, so I'm gonna uninstall all of that, then let's see if in tools we have any bloatware, actually not, everything here looks good, now let's go to essentials, yeah here are also the things that are quite important, so I think these are all the apps that I've uninstalled. I'm gonna move the Amazon shopping here so it looks good. Yes, and we've uninstalled everything that's not important. So let's go back to the settings and try to log in now. So users and accounts in settings, then add account and then Google. And now I think we should be able. So if you don't have the Google account, you can create, click on create account and create it now. But I already have it, so I'm just gonna um, sign in. Then I'm gonna enter the password of camera. And now I'm gonna click on next. Then select who will be using this device. I'm gonna click on I will be using this device. Then I'm gonna agree to Google Terms of Service.
Now select if you want to backup device data. So um, I'm gonna select it and click on accept. If you don't, you can just turn the switch off, but I'm gonna leave it selected because I don't want my data to get lost. So I'm just gonna accept it here. And now I am logged in. So let's continue with the next step, which is going to the Play Store and updating our apps. So I'm gonna click on Get Started, then select if you wanna use password or biometrics to verify your purchases. I don't have biometrics set up just yet, so I'm gonna use the password, but in later steps, I'm gonna show you how to set up your screen lock, uh, f uh, fingerprint and face unlock if you want it as well. So let's click on Use Password. And now I'm going to enter my password. Then I've just clicked on done and as you can see I'm in. So I'm going to click on my profile in top right corner and go to my apps and games. Then go to updates and just click on update all. We need to update these services because some apps um, require a wrapped an update to run and even, even if, if they don't, it is just recommended to have the newest security fixes and the newest features. So in the meantime, we can do other stuff. So let's go to the settings and in settings, go to the biometrics and password. So if you don't have the fingerprint, the screen lock and face recognition set up, I'm going to show you how to do it now. So now let's go to the lock screen password and we can set it up if you don't have it yet. So here, the first suggestion is to set up a six digit pin. It also says try not to forget uh, your pin because there is no way to recover if you, it if you do. Actually, there is a way if you remember your Google uh, account uh, password, then you can recover it with the Google account, but all your data will be deleted. So it is not recommended to forget your pin. So I'm gonna click on change unlock method and you can also instead of the six digit pin set it to four digit pin, custom pin, pattern or password. I'm gonna select the pattern. Now you can draw it. So you need to connect at least four dots. I suggest you connecting more so you can draw something more complicated. I'm gonna, although I'm gonna click on redraw and set it to something simple. And now I'm gonna redraw it so I can confirm it, then click on done. And now uh, you can set up the fingerprint by clicking fingerprint ID. So I'm gonna click on that, then enter my screen lock first. And fingerprint is pretty safe and also pretty quick to use. So I'm just gonna click on new fingerprint, then add fingerprint, then okay. And now I'm gonna place my uh, finger on this fingerprint sensor. You most probably will use your thumb of your dominant hand, so I'll use my right thumb and just place on the sensor which is under the screen. You need to tap and release multiple times. Also remember to move your finger between each scan so it scans the whole area of the finger. When it says to enroll the edges, also enroll them. Just like that. Last one. Okay, a few more. And now you can click on OK. Then you can also set up the face recognition. Uh, so I'm gonna click on cancel and do that myself. But before that, you can also customize the fingerprint animation if you want. So I'm gonna set it to maybe this one, then approve, and then let's go back. And let's go to the face recognition, then enter our screen lock. And as you can see, you just need to click on get started. I'm going to also enable raise to wake, so I don't need to click on anything. I just need to raise my phone and it'll look at my face and unlock it. So now you need to position your face within the frame. Now I am set up. So you can also enable face recognition with surgical mask. I'm going to click on later. And you can see that the screen unlock, the face unlock is enrolled. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to unlock with those three methods. So the first one will be screen unlock. It is pretty simple. Then with the fingerprint 
sensor you can just tap on the screen even if the screen is off and it'll unlock it and with face you can just raise your phone look at it and it'll unlock it and now you can slide up to open it so now let's go back to our play store let's see if everything was updated not yet but we can continue with the next thing i wanted to do which is installing important apps because you may want to install something that's important to you something that you use on daily basis so i'm just gonna um search for example for firefox and install that browser it's a browser that will be my second one then i can also install something like whatsapp so let's search for it as well if you use instagram or maybe facebook you can also install that as well but i believe facebook is already installed so we don't need to do that then also netflix if you use it mm, so to install apps just search for them then click on install it's pretty simple and now let's as it is doing right it is in the process right now i'm gonna slide down from the left top part of my screen to click on finish setting up your honor magic 7 Lite. now let's click on start and if you are not connected to mobile network you can insert the sim card now so to do it you can uh, just uh, put the sim card tray opener or any other needle inside of that hole at the bottom um, which is within that border and it will pop the uh, sim tray out you can then pull it out and put the sim card in and uh, then put the whole tray with the sim card back in and it will connect to mobile network but you can also skip it and do that later now uh, it asks you if you want to copy your data from your old phone if you click on don't copy then you'll not be able to do that do that with the native google method in the future but you'll be able to use the phone clone app which is downloaded on the phone by default so on your old phone you'll also need to download a special app for that and you'll be able to do that so i'm gonna click on don't copy and don't copy but if you want to copy your data then i suggest just clicking on next and following the on-screen instructions then select your default browser so i'm gonna select google chrome then set it as default then i'm gonna select google as my default search engine now draw unlock pattern and i actually do have a fingerprint so i'm gonna just click on cancel because I don't need it then I'm gonna agree to use biometrics to verify my Google Play purchases then I'm gonna click on more and I agree for using hey Google which will activate Google Assistant without pressing on any buttons I just need to say hey Google out loud so I'm gonna agree to that but you can also skip it then I'm gonna click on I agree again and if you haven't set it up um, if you haven't set up Google uh, hey Google earlier on any device then you will not uh, you will have to set it up now so you will have to say four phrases out loud that will be shown on the screen but i already have it set up so it doesn't prompt me, prompt me to do that now if i want to access your my assistant without unlocking my device i'm gonna skip that and if i want to add google pay so if you want to be able to tap with your phone to pay or pay online with google pay then you can set it up you'll just scan the ca uh, card so you can either take a picture of it and it will automatic ad automatically transfer details or you can enter the details manually after that you'll confirm with your bank via sms or phone call and it'll add your card to the google pay so i'm gonna skip it and now you can also adjust some more settings i'm gonna click on no thanks and now this is set up so now let's go to the settings and in the settings let's go to battery and now i suggest you going to more battery settings and make sure that you have the i suggest you doing that um enabling safe charging uh, enabling smart battery capacity 
and um, also having the smart charge enabled I suggest having that because it saves your battery lifetime over years and now I think uh, that the last thing that we can do since we have other browser then I'm gonna just show you how to switch to a different bra default browser if you want it so if you want to switch then go to settings now go to apps then go to default apps and to change your default browser select browser and now select the app you want to switch it to and these are all of the things I, suge I suggest you doing first after setting up your Honor Magic 7 Lite. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.